Today's activity is a fun drilling game called Banana Squat. Come on. and welcome to Mooncake ESL Teaching Made Easy. If you're new here then you need to know that I make weekly ESL teaching tip videos to help you improve your English teaching. So if you are teaching ESL abroad make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly ESL teaching tips. Also real quick if you are new here say hi in the comments below and let me know where in the world you are teaching. Vocab drilling games can really help your students remember new vocabulary. They're repetitive and if done in the right way they're fun as well. So if you're looking for a fun drilling game to help your students practice new vocabulary, then look no further. Today I'll be sharing a fun drilling game that will have your students speaking English quickly. So without further ado, let's get started. To play this game, all you're going to need are three sets of flashcards of the vocabulary you'd like to practice. Now in today's example, I'll be using fruits as a subject, however you can adjust this game to suit any subject that you might be teaching. Start by positioning the class in a semicircle with you, the teacher, in the middle. Next, you're going to introduce those flashcards one by one using Chance and TPR as you do. Now, if you're not sure how to use Chance and TPR in your classroom, then make sure you check out my video on TPR linked below. Next, you're going to take those cards, give them a shuffle and hand them out to students. Every student should have one flashcard. Now, as you're doing this, you can add in some extra language points by having students ask for the card. For example, may I have a card, please? The whole class as a group can then ask the student receiving the card, what card do you have? And they can then reply saying, I have bananas. Once everyone has a flashcard, you're going to ask the whole class to stand up and listen very carefully. Choose one fruit and ask them to squat down as the whole class chants together. Banana squat, banana squat, think fast, think fast. Apples squat. As soon as you change the name of the fruit to apples squat, all those bananas need to stand back up and those apples need to squat down. Once again, the whole class are going to chant together. Apple squat. Apple squat. Think fast. Think fast. Strawberry squat. Keep going again and again until all the vocabulary has been sufficiently drilled. Now to make this game even more fun, you can add in some competition by eliminating the slowest fruit. This way you keep students' attention as they wait with anticipation to see if their card will be picked. Keep going again and again until there's only one fruit left who is crowned the winner. Now if your class are a little, let's say, energetic, then you can calm things down by changing the actions in the game. So instead of squatting, you might have students put their hands up. It's always a good idea if you've done a high energy action to then calm things down before moving on to another game. So there you have it, a fun and engaging way to practice new vocabulary. If you like this video, let me know by commenting the word helpful in the comments below and by sharing with your fellow teachers. If you're looking for more fun ESL games, then you can check out some of my other videos right here. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Or if you're interested in a Mooncake sweatshirt or mug, you can find them linked below. And of course, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more weekly ESL teaching tips from Mooncake.